Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Make sure ain't nothing in my mouth. Make sure ain't nothing because y'all do not be telling me. Okay, I'll be doing a whole video. And then I'll be like, why did that not <laughs> The quarantine has adjusted the Dell Show taping times. Um, I actually tried to do it last night, but then I mentioned something and I realized I had like a lot of like, not a lot of, but like, I, I was good all video, but then I had like a little like um, bitterness when I had mentioned like a certain statement and I was like, no, I'm not gonna, mm -mm, mm -mm. I shall have only the Dell emoted happiness in my system on the Dell show because this show makes me so happy to do guys and this and, and, and let me tell you why I had the bitterness to this because I you see well of course it's backwards so you can't see it but it says I won all day and of course you know the devil that's how he do he as soon as you say you win he trying to come attack you you know what I'm saying but that's what I was anyway on I won all day yesterday from the time I got up in the morning. I hate what I'm talking about, y'all. I was thinking back to some, like, let me tell y'all some afflictions. You know, it's so hard. It's so easy to ask for forgiveness. But it is uh, so hard to give it out. And I remember on Good Friday, I had an interview with this dude. And he was explaining to me how you need to... Like the same how we receive things with the Lord's Spirit and with His faith is how we need to forgive things with the Lord's Spirit and with His faith because um, forgiveness is too much for the flesh. And I find myself like going back to like stab people like 47 times in my mind because I keep going back to that affliction, especially when I go to like places that they've afflicted me and I get I remember. So anyway, so I was in the bathroom yesterday. And this is how I won, because I immediately thought of it in the bathroom. And immediately I was like, uh-uh, 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 you're making it up. You're making it up. There's nothing wrong. You will not take those suggestions. It will be an amazing day. And it was the most amazing day. I'm talking about, <laughs> first of all, the day before is when I went to film a sketch with my team on Sunday. Like, I'm talking about, like, God, guys, I just, like, we, this quarantine needs to just... <sighs> I don't even want to say it because I don't want people on my page talking about, you want it to end when the stats look like... The yes, I want the stats to be better, too. Okay, guys, I know y'all love to worship fear. I don't! I worship happiness and the Lord... So anyway, so um, um, so I was with my team, uh, yet you know, back filming a sketch in uh, in on that same day, you know, I was having a conversation, and you know, I was it was a text conversation, and um, you know, it wasn't going, it was going well, but the person wasn't uh, the person was just very hurt. And I just decided I'm just not going to bite back because I love this person so much. But, you know, um, just because I love you does not mean I'm going to, you know, um, if, if you have taken another direction, you know what I mean? Then where I'm going, then I'm just going to have to just go in my direction. And if that, you know draws a diagonal line then that's what it's gonna do it's just gonna draw a diagonal line and i'm just gonna be over here my happy self but anyway i just said to myself i was like you know what i'm not gonna let that that was this was on sunday i'm not gonna let that um you know just t take steal my day because i know for a fact that i have you know great intentions and i know what i'm doing and i know when i hear from the lord and i know when the lord says listen i need all of your attention you know what i'm saying i need 100 percent of your attention so um i just put it out of my brain and i wished the whole situation well and then on Sunday, I'm talking about the Lord just blessed me with, um, you know, now I'm like a host on this app with my own cooking show every morning. 
then it was like uh this uh you know I heard back from another like a uh, person in music that was just like you know I think I want to use you for this other thing and you know um I'm t it was just like from that point like good news after good news after good news after good news and that's why I was feeling like I just you know the winning started the winning is always started by the way for all, all of us it's just us choosing to like recognize it but then I was just feeling like then in the morning when I got up you know I was thinking of that but then I was just like no I'm just not gonna let that like you know um even reflect in how I'm feeling but then I got on my bike okay I got my notes over here I got on my bike so many lessons on my bike so I was on my bike coming from the sketch that night, that Sunday night. And I just decided, you know what? It's longer for me to take the bus. I'll just ride the bike. I'll just ride the bike. But then when I rode the bike, I reached the corner. And as soon as I reached the corner, the bus is there. And you know, in LA, we can put our bus on our, uh, we can put our bike on the bus. And so that bus took me like 28 minutes of the ride up. You know, mind you, it's like a hour ride. 28 minutes of the ride up and I was just like thanks so much I was on the bus and I was just like Lord I just cannot thank you enough for your perfect timing your perfect timing your perfect timing so then when I got off the bus I finally got off the bus and uh the bus was coming in like 20 minutes I'm like 20 minutes I can just ride this five miles on my bike so thank God I got my bike you know and I looked I was chilling on this bike ride. I'm talking about, I was singing loud on the music. You know, the streets are empty. And um, right when I got one mile from my house, I started looking back for the bus because the hill was just so high up. Like, right, like there's a hill that is so steep, like to ride up that like, I literally just got to go slower and take my time so that I can like get my, you know, because I don't have like a, a bike where I switch gears. I, I'm riding a cruiser, a, like a straight beach cruiser. So it's all you. It's like you and knees and leg strength and that's it, you know, and music and and whatever else, which I do love about, you know, that's what I love about writing is because you actually get in a workout. But, um, you know, I was thinking about the sim the symbolism of being one mile away from home, which is the same as is for um, your career and your success. You're one mile away and things are harder, even though things are better, things are harder. And I find myself, I'm looking back for the bus. Now I'm already, I'm, I'm basically at home. You know, all I got to do is get up this one hill and, but I'm looking back for the bus like, dang, I don't want to get up this hill. And I was just thinking that is just the, that is the story of your success life. It's like when you get right at the end, you could just see, I could see home. I could just see it right here. But it was just going to take some hard hurdles to get over. And I was just going to have to start going slower. And I was just going to have to breathe through some things. But I was just going to get there. But it was just harder. And I just longed for somebody to just, you know, to just ride that bus up the hill. And then I could just take it. But no, it, the bus wasn't coming. It was all me. I just needed to pedal and just going on to the finish line and when I did ride up that hill and I got like over that hill then I got over another hill because the hill is so long that's why I was looking for the bus and I finally just got up there made the right turn to like go on the street the reward I'm talking about I was just like ah you know and that is just how it is too with us you know, as people, it's like if we just pedal up that harder hill, like that harder hill, and we can do it. But we have just been, uh, you know, things haven't been, things have been difficult, but things haven't been as hard as they are when you're coming closer to the goal. So that was one lesson that I learned on my bike. Uh, another lesson that I learned too is when I got off the bus last night, because I rode my bus I rode my bike down to a second sketch shoot, you know, uh, which is also another blessing of the winning, you know, getting called to do another sketch. Um, when I got off my bike, the guy was like, oh, did you want me to help you? And um, normally, you know, I carry this bike all the time, you know, and I normally don't be like damsel in distress, you know, but the Lord was just telling me, 
let this man do this for you. He's asking. Like a lot of men be like, tell, I'll get that for you. And even some men be like, what? You can get it yourself. You know, they're offended when I don't let them get it for me. And guess what? I appreciate those men be offended, being offended because, you know, we are women. I am a woman. I should be letting you get that. I should be letting you do it. You know, I just been out here independent and in and up so long that I can't, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just so used to hitting it myself, but it just, it was just like a lesson of my bike to say, you know, let this man get it, you know? And it was just like another like win, like, yeah, like him lifting that up while I just stood there with my basket waiting to get the bike and he was happy to do it. And I was just like, so happy to have him do it because the bike is heavy. Um, another win that I experience is I experience on my bike too is normally I take the, if I'm riding 11 miles, I take the whole 11 miles. Yesterday when I was riding my bike home, I took a wrong turn. So I pedaled a couple extra miles and then I got to the street where my main, like the bus that I could take home and I had stopped at the grocery store before, but I just took a break. Like, that's where the real win is. I took a break. Like, normally I would have just been like, all right, only five more miles to go. I'll just do it. I'll just pump myself up. But my body was feeling like I needed a break. And that's where the win is, is giving myself that break. Like, giving myself that break on lifting the bike. Giving myself the break on pedaling the bike. Like, you've done enough. You've done seven miles already. You've done enough. But sometimes we don't give ourselves a break from everything, not just working out on this bike, every single thing from being mad, from not forgiving for, from people, because people, you need a break from people sometimes. Um, you know, every bit of the thing, relationships, workshops, patterns, routines. And I was so happy that I just had given myself a needed break. Like the bus was coming in like 10 minutes, 13 minutes or whatever. And it was, it just felt so great to stand there, eat my hummus and crackers and take a break. The very last win I'm going to tell you about guys. And it was a huge win. It was a huge win. When I got to that grocery store, guys, I love powdered donuts. When I tell you I love powdered donuts, I love powdered donuts. Not only did they have 6,000 of them in the container but they was almost free, okay? It was like, not. it was on sale. Like, you know when you're not supposed to be eating something, not only they will they have like a plethora of them, plethora, plethora, whatever. Uh, not only will they have a lot of them, they will have them on sale and it will be cheap and it will be a for, I mean, and then <laughs> you mess around and somebody might just be like, I'll buy those for you because you're not supposed to have them. I, I, I walked around the store with the donuts and then I just put them on down and I was like, you know what? I got some yogurt at home. I got some walnuts. I got some berries. I would just make my own dessert and it'll be so much healthier than these donuts because I do not like to bring them donuts in the house because I'll just sit home all night and I'll just chomp, 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 chomp. And I'll look up in the morning and I'll just be six months, looking six months pregnant because them donuts was on sale. <laughs> I got to get, I got, how you like this earlier, Dale show? I'm about to put it up early too. I got to get, I ain't going to talk you. I ain't going to talk Guys, I got to get my, I got to get my K cars. I got to get my K cars. Okay. I got to get my K cards so I can leave you with one, one K card. Guys, I got a cooking show on Bigo. B I G O. B I G O. Follow me. I'll be cooking every morning on Bigo. And you can hang out with me live. And you can give me beans. And you can give me stars. And Bigo live. I am Dale Harrison on there. K cards. This one is called Life. Nothing ever goes away until it teaches us what we need to know. Nothing ever goes away until it teaches us what we need to know. Guys, I love y'all. The Dow Show.